wonderful people oh, welcome back or welcome if you're new my name's Kate this is my library and in today's video we're gonna add some uh, new books to my library as well as explore the store at Christmas and what store do I mean I mean the bookstore So for today's video, my thoughts are to go to the bookstores. There's two um, near me that I like to go to, especially for finding larger collections. So I do have one close by, um, like five, 10 minutes away. Um, but in terms of their Christmas collection, they don't have a lot. Um, but there are ones about 20 minutes from my house that I do like to go to that has a wider selection. So I'm going to go shopping to them today. I'm going to bring you guys along and then I'm going to do a little haul of what I got and why I bought them. So yeah, let's go shopping. Let's go. everyone I am back with the goodies I did get a few books I did actually end up getting a lot more but some of them are Christmas presents so I just want to focus on the ones for me essentially just let me get rid of all the receipts 
Okay, so the main book I wanted to go to the shops for um, mainly was Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. Um, I'm going to be very honest with you, I have not read this. Yes, I know I'm an English teacher, yes. I know that I'm meant to like these classics. Um, I'm not a massive classic person, like Oliver Twist. I had to do an essay, a uni for it, and honestly, once it was done, I wiped that from my memory. No thank you. Um, I'm hoping A Christmas Carol is better. I do love A Christmas Carol. I like most renditions of it. The only one I haven't liked is the new one called Spirited, which is kind of like a representation of the Christmas Carol. Just was not for me. Um, but I do love the Muppets version. I watch it every year. So this is a short little guy. This was only $10. It's part of the Williams Collin collection. It's got these beautiful lamp posts on it, which I think is just beautiful for the season. Now, I'm sure you know what a Christmas Carol is, but essentially it's a guy called Ebenezer Scrooge and he is a Scrooge, the rendition of his word, and that's where the word came from, um, where he doesn't look after the people around him and just is a Scrooge in general. Anyway, the night before Christmas, he gets uh, well, the night, yeah, the night before Christmas, he gets uh, visited by three ghosts. So the ghosts of Christmas past, present and possible future. Um, and essentially they're trying to show him to change his ways. Uh, spoiler, he does, which is really nice. I wish quite a few more people got visited by this and that's probably where the movie trope of spirit would come from, but anyway. Um, but I do tend to read this. I wanna read this probably, um, I'm not sure when, but I do want to read it. Um, I'm hoping that it is magical, it's Edwardian, and it gives me all the vibes that I'm looking for. This was $10, well, $9.99 at Dimex. So yes, I couldn't find a pretty edition. I really wanted a pretty edition, but apparently not. They have all of a twist though. Okay. The next one I picked up is essentially The Christmas Wish. I have no idea what this is about. I have just seen it all over the place and thought, why not add it to my romance shelves? Um, so this is, um, ever wished it could be Christmas every day, wish again. Newly single lawyer Gwen Baker is hoping that a family Christmas countryside, a mountain of food and festive films will savour the sting of her career hanging by a thread and her heart being trampled on. Oh, poor girl. Because everyone else has their life sorted, even Devon, her boy next door crush, is now a tall, dark and handsome stranger with a fiancé. She uh, cannot help wishing her future was clearer. When Gwen wakes up to discover it's Christmas Day all over again, like Groundhog Day, but with turkey and family arguments on repeat. As she figures out how to escape her own perpetual, uh, sorry, her own particular Christmas hell, Devon is the one bright spot. He might be all grown up, but underneath he's just as kind and funny as she remembers. Maybe, just maybe, her heart can be mended after all. But how do you fall in love with someone who can't remember you from one day to the next? Ooh, it sounds really cool. It's kind of like Groundhog Day, but make it Christmas. So I hope it's good. Um, it is very short. It is only 360 pages long, so probably like a one-sit read. Um, but I thought that looked cute didn't really read the synopsis on the back to be honest that's my first impression I just saw a Christmas wish and saw the the paintings on the front and thought I gotta buy that so let me know in the comments down below if you've read this it'd be really good to know uh and I hope it's just as good as I thought if not it's going for next year or I'm gonna donate it to the library ah my headband okay next is a holiday by Christina Lauren. I have seen so many people talk about this. It is just gorgeous. I know there's different covers out there, but I really like this one. Mind you, it was the only one I could find. 
Um, so this one is Love Actually Meets Groundhog Day in this Love Out Loud Holiday Romance. That's what the other one really reminded me of, this one. So apparently this one is she gets in an accident or something and she has to live, relive a day over and over until she gets it right. Um, it's trying to sound like a trope that's running through Christmas. Um, but I'm excited to read this one. I'm, I'm excited to find out what it is about. Do you want me to read the back? I'm going to anyway. It's the most wonderful time of the year, but not for Maylin Jones. She's living with her parents, hates her going nowhere job, and has just made a romantic era of epic proportions. But perhaps worst of all is the last Christmas May will be at her favourite place in the world, the snow cabin, where she and her family have spent every Christmas since she was born. Mentally melting down as she drives away from the final time, May uh, throws out what she thinks is a simple plea to the universe. Please show me what will make me happy. The next thing she knows, everything goes black. When May gasps to await, she's back on a plane, beginning the same holiday all over again. With one hilarious disaster after another sending her back to the plane, May must figure out how to break free of the strange time loop and finally get her true love under the mistletoe. Ooh, I actually like the sound of that one more than the Christmas wish, but it's kind of that loop Groundhog Day kind of idea. I love the holidays. The pun on the front is very cute. Love, love me some puns. Um, they're very punny. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I, I apologize. I really apologize. Anyway, so I'm excited to read that. I have seen Olivia Reads a Latte say that she really enjoyed it. And I've seen uh, Liv's Library say that she enjoyed it as well. So I'm excited to see how this one turns out. And the last book I got was A Merry Little Meat Cute. This one, oh, sorry. The other one was $19.99. And The Christmas Wish was $29.99. Wow, that was expensive. Um, this one's $22.99. And it says, when B. Hobbs takes the lead in a sneaky, sorry, a squeaky, squeaky clean romantic Christmas movie, there are only three rules. One, don't get involved with anyone on the set. Two, don't tell anyone what you do for the living. And three, do not get involved with anyone on set. 3B, seriously. Now she's filming Christmas Notch, a small town with Christmas trees and festive tunes all year round. But B's got a secret identity to hide and it's not family friendly and her co-star, Nolan Shaw, an ex-boy band member infamous for his own X-rated antics, not only knows it, but is her secretly her biggest fan. When things start to heat up on set, B and Nolan must keep their steamy affair under wraps or risk ruining everything. Uh, as far as I know, she's an adult film um, actor or actress um, and it's kind of a little bit quirky and very steamy. I have seen a couple of people say that they love this. It's got a quote by Tessa Bailey, which is Christmas in the sexiest way possible. Charming. So I'm very excited for this one. This one is only four. No, that's acknowledgement. 412 pages long. So that won't take me long at all, but. I'm excited for that one too. These are all the books that I bought for myself today. I did buy others, obviously, but they are Christmas presents, so they are staying hidden. Anyway, let me know in the comments down below if you have a, if you have read any of these books and what your thoughts were and if I will like them. I'd be very interested to know what you think. Also, the pricing on the books, like, why are they so expensive for paperbacks? But we won't go into that today. That's another day's argument. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. It really supports my channel. I appreciate you all. Have a wonderful festive season and I'll see you next time in another one of my videos. Bye.